Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the tavern. We have another really, really cool drink for you guys. Bojangles Hard Tea. Alright, I know not everybody has a Bojangles out there, but you, you gotta try this. It's so cool. Steeped like we mean it. 5% alcohol. Does contain alcohol. Um, it says, the ingredients is filtered water, cold fermented cane sugar, liquid cane sugar, black tea, and malted rice. So they didn't use a corn, they used rice. So I am super excited about trying this. They got the color. A little darker than usual. They used, they did use that a black tea, so. Whoa. Brimmed. Oh, that smells pretty accurate. Definitely smells like a black tea. A little darker than I anticipated it to be. I expect it to kind of be light. But beautiful color. Let me drink some of this down so I don't spill it. Okay. Taste is interesting. I wouldn't say it's quite like like a great like a brisk. It does have its tea aspects, which is quite nice. Um, it ain't sugar like your mama makes it, but it's tea. All right, it's black tea. It's really rich. It's sweet, non-malty. It's really good. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I couldn't tell you I was drinking alcohol, that's for sure. There's no alcohol taste to it. There's no malt. There's no real rich taste. Slightly watered. You know, um, you can tell that it is more towards the black tea than a sweet tea. Uh, so it's got a lot less sugars, even though the can does say 33 grams of sugar. Um... It's got that nice bitter taste that I like in tea too, so that's really, really good. There's nothing that I would add or take away from this. Really, really good. I don't know what... Man, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I guarantee you, everybody who likes Bojangles, at least around here, behind Glaze, right? Everybody who loves it is going to love this drink all right i think even pretty lady's gonna really love this she's a huge sweet tea fan so without a shadow of a doubt if you like tea you like black tea you like bojangles tea this is something you're gonna want to try 100 percent. i'm not sure the cost because i bought a bunch of stuff when i bought this um but i'd say i would give it two dollars and fifty cent i'd probably spend up to maybe three dollars for one can that's really good that's how good i think it is cheers The crazy thing about it is they use the rice, right? And at least for me, I feel like a when they use a rice instead of a corn, it doesn't build up as much in your stomach. And you don't feel as bloated. So it goes down great. Sits smooth. 100%. I'm going to give this, wow, I'm going to say 10, boys. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Hey, y'all are amazing. Remember, I buy this, guys, don't have to, but you should buy this one. And I try it so you guys don't have to, but try this one. And while you're doing that, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the families grow every single day, whether it be numbers or in knowledge, because you guys are absolutely amazing, and I couldn't be doing it without you guys. So, till later, till next time, till always, I'm Justin. Welcome to the Tavern, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for Friday Night Live. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be late. I closed, but we're going to be there, so be ready. Till then, guys, y'all have a great rest of your evening.